Howdy folks, Skurbo here, back with some more old stream farm. As you can see, uh, there's been some changes. I've got a new tractor, Case 1455XL with an engine tuning package. It gets it up to uh, over 150 horsepower, so that's our big tractor now. I've hired a local boy to plow this field. This season we're going to get this field going, field 7. Ended up uh, not using that last season, just didn't have the time. But uh, he's going to get that plowed. And here behind me, we've uh, got another addition. I've been spending uh, quite a bit of money investing in this season. But, uh, here we're going to have our slurry for uh, fertilizing. I leased a tanker. Had a tanker truck bring this over and fill it up. It's got about 55,000 liters of slurry ready to go on the field. So we can refill our sprayer. So he's working on that. Um, I need to go get some straw. Had some straw come in to the shop. So I'm going to take a quick jog back over to the farm. And I'll bring you back in when I get back. Okay, I'm back here at the farm now. And I've got the uh, bobcat loaded up. We're going to head over to the store. Get some straw. Put this just try to get the tongue weight settled out. So we didn't have enough straw. Had to buy some more. So that's why this season I'm gonna plant a lot more crop that'll give us straw. I think we're going to end up with plenty of silage and hay. Yes, I'm driving through my own field. And I've been tossing around the idea of just growing crops on seven and turning uh, four into a grass field, and kind of combining four and two have to cut down some trees and stuff like that just tossing that around as a possible idea also I might create a road over here to more easily get to field seven need to talk to some of the neighbors and see if that would be all right Hay fork might also be new. I can't remember exactly when I bought it. It's kind of handy that it folds up for easy storage. I think I can lift four of these. trailer a little bit. Yeah, it's not very pretty, but uh, we'll get that straightened out. So anyway, I'm going to load up this bale of straw. Several bales of straw here on the trailer. Get that all situated. And then we'll head back to the farm and uh, we'll see what else we need to do. Catch you in a bit. Okay, I got the straw here put in the barn, so we can go put this up. And we've got the hired hand plowing. So let's get this trailer put up. And I'm going to take a look at maybe redoing the fields. Maybe joining four and two. I 
I've got a new keyboard steering mod. Still getting used to the steering. That's my excuse. Backing a trailer up IRL is so much easier. <laughs> so you can actually tell what you're doing. There we go. So let's go take a peek out here by field forward two. So this grass field here is field two. Of course, this is field four to the left. I'm thinking about doing is turning this all into grass. Grass field one way over there, grass uh, field four, grass field two, just making this all grass. And uh, that way we'd have enough hay and silage for the cows. Plus I could sell a lot of extra silage so to do that, I'd need to cut down these trees. Probably wood chip them. But that'd be quite a bit of project. So we may do that while the fields are growing. Just go ahead and plant field four as grass. And then have all this extra project work to do while we're waiting on fields to grow. I think that would be probably the best use. And then we've got field seven over there. Let's go and see how he's doing on the plowing. We've got field seven for our uh, row crops or whatever we want to grow, arable crops. I'll follow the road this time. And also field one, we can do kind of whatever. Maybe some soybeans or something. reminds me soybeans were selling quite well now yeah, they're back down to normal yeah I should have sold while they're up oh well now the other little project I'm thinking about is an access road for field 7 let's take a look at that up here So as you can tell from the tracks, <laughs> oh, the tracks are gone. I've been driving through here. So I, I need to uh, get something worked out with this guy here that owns the field. Maybe take out some shrubs, take out a little bit of this hedgerow and just build a road right through here. Let's just ease through these hedges here. And then we have a straight shot right over here to field seven. So if we can get that worked out, I will build that road. Alright, so he's he's at least a third of the way done plowing that field. That's good. Like I said, this is full. Just waiting to start putting that down. So the cows are all taken care of for today. We're just waiting on him to finish plowing. I think we can go plant some grass. If we want to actually follow the roads. Man, that road is rough. We actually want to follow the roads to field seven. We have to go around here. this little stone dam here and then out to the city street and then around by the shop she just sneezed not a huge deal but it'd be a little quicker especially when we're running uh, crops and stuff back and forth to have that cut through Same here, if it wasn't for that creek, I might build a road over to my farm, but... 
just to drive through the field. So I think I'll park this and grab the other tractor. So speaking of tractors, I did keep the, the 699 Massey, but I traded in the uh, the other 600 series Massey. And got that big uh, international. Just needed something to be able to do our own plowing. Then I got a nice uh, five bottom plow. Oh, where did I leave the 699? Oh, the other thing I got. Like I said, I've been spending some money. I got some conveyors here set up so we can use the manure. Oh, that's where the 699 is. I was fertilizing this grass field, grass field one. I forgot about that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. I'll do most of that off camera. And then we can go uh, seed field one. So we have a lot of manure, so we might as well use it. This will get us a lot better grass yield. So I'm going to sling some poo, and I will catch you on the other side of that. Okay, so we got the poo flinging done. Grass one's all fertilized. I'm going to go and seed field one. I'm trying to decide what to plant. We've got a little bit of everything. I was kind of thinking about soybeans or corn. But I think we would need a different head for that. So I don't believe I have anything other than the one head. Yeah, we've just got this head. Oh, it actually do soybeans. Yeah, let's do soybeans. There we go. So I've already um, cultivated this. So I'll do a couple head and laps around and then get the rest of it seated. I'd really like to have a tractor with GPS so I could use GPS mod on some of these larger fields. Maybe once we make a little more money we can get that done. So one change that I've made is um, I got rid of the gearbox mod because it was causing some issues with the more, realis more realism mod. And I've got the latest version of the more realism mod. It seems to really work well together with the ground response. You get some really interesting effects in uh, dirt. Kind of liking how it works. I have to almost back off into the water here. So I'm going to see this little field here shouldn't take too long. And then I'll bring you back in. We'll check in on how the plowing is going. Hopefully it'll be about done by then. And then the big job will be to plant field 7. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant there yet. Definitely need something with straw. So I need to look up and see exactly which uh, plants produce straw. I know what wheat does. I think barley does also. But I want to look into that. Shift in my view. Oh, it's the keyboard steering mod. I gotcha. 
it moves the camera for you when you steer. I forgot about that. But you can turn that off. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. It's uh, about mid-afternoon. I got field one plant of a soybean. And I went and checked on the plowing. The plowing's getting close to done. Probably three-fourths of the way done or so. Um, that tractor, 1455, it does a pretty good job. There's a little bit of wheel slip, he said. So, I don't know. Next season we may have to get, or season after, may have to get a little bit bigger tractor. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. It is able to plow. Sometimes it slows down to four or five miles an hour, but he is doing a plowing and should get done here shortly. But I'm going to go ahead and seed field four with grass. And we'll have all these fields here by the farm will be grass. And I think that'll give us a, a nice big grass harvest in the summer. We'll have plenty of hay bales, plenty of silage, and we should be able to sell off some silage later this fall. So I'm going to get to it. This is going to take a while, so I'll do this off camera. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.